the necessity of improvising with uh, the robots I, I built. The robots are not able to improvise. Or... No, I think I'm more a composer. I play my own music and uh, I try to build orchestra. So in my, in my little table, of course, it's all about miniatures. But in my small table, there will be a harmonium that plays chords. There will be some flutes that play a short melody. Uh, I, can, I can build uh, slowly a bass line. Uh, there, there is a percussion part, a, a rhythmical part that plays steady rhythms. And there, are this, uh, there is also this work with paper that plays more uh, noises and tones. And there are some musicians from the past that come and add their line on top of it. On stage I'm a bit uh, naked. In my studio I have like 300 instruments, uh, and but on stage I, I bring only one instrument or two, so I try to modify the sound of the trumpet every time it's I, I take it, it, it will sound different. I have some license, I have some uh, freedom uh, because I play playing with robots, they will never complain if I start uh, at, at the fourth bar or the eighth or the... Uh, I, can, I can leave some space or I can reduce a, 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 a song and it, uh, it's okay, the robots will uh, just follow. Yeah. When you play with musicians, you have to have some cues. Okay, we'll start at that point and we'll stop here and there. So this I can improvise according to what I hear from the, from the, the public. If the public, I, if I, I feel that the public is writing well, I will uh, uh, um, play a bit longer this part. Yeah. If I feel that they will get bored, I will up and stop earlier, etc. That's the good point of playing with robots. The, the, the bad point is that uh, nobody is talking to you before playing, there is no... Yeah. In music, I like uh, harmony, like uh, this grid of chord that uh, that we hear now, and I like also rhythms. I like to, uh, steady rhythms, or sometimes more um, uh, aleatory, and I like also uh, melodies, and I like also noise and tones, especially tones. So I try to combine all those elements. There are plenty of uh, sources of inspiration. My main source is uh, a, a literary texts that I've uh, uh, um, that stay in my mind, uh, like the Jules Verne. All the writers who who describe the mechanical, uh, um, well. Uh, an industrial yeah. world yeah. and uh, <coughs> also some paintings but also the, the daily life.
I was asked by uh, another musician and uh, a man I, ver I like very much, a musician, a, a DJ, uh, mm -hmm. who is called uh, Morphosis, and he asked me to join his uh, label, Morphine Records, yeah. and he asked me to, well, he gave me a, a, a slight idea of a direction to go uh, to, to compose, so he, want, he would like from me some... Uh, minimal and rhythmical music mm -hmm. and I started up I, uh, I have 10 minutes at the moment so this I, th I hope will release uh, mm, like uh, May June uh, next year I was a bit anxious about the reaction of the public who comes here probably to listen to some uh, so song, song, songwriters, song, uh, singers and uh, uh, bands. And I'm uh, just a one-man band playing uh, strange instruments, unknown, uh, generally built by myself. I was feeling a bit lonely in, in the lineup, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe I was underestimating uh, the possibilities of reactions this public has, because they, they reacted rather well to yeah. what I proposed. I'm glad to yeah. have experienced that.